Welcome to the workbench. I'm Doug. Have you ever wondered why you have multiple bobbin cases packaged with your baby lock sewing and embroidery machines? Well, I'm here today to try to solve that mystery. Now, the bobbin case that comes inside your machine after you open it up out of the box has a green paint on it. And what that's going to do is help hold that screw so it doesn't change. But it's also been set after we've adjusted the tension so that it accommodates all of your different sewing needs, whether it's straight stitch, zigzag, decorative stitching, free motion, or embroidery. Now we found that the rest, best recipe for embroidery is that you use the finishing touch bobbin thread. It's a very slick thread, but it has a unique twist to add a little bit more pressure on the thread so that it will help win that tug of war of the upper thread during embroidery. If you use this recipe, with the genuine bobbin, you're gonna have success. But we know that not everybody is gonna have the finishing touch bobbin thread, or some of you have been doing embroidery for a while and have other embroidery thread that you'd like to use for your bobbin. So if you were to use that and experience bobbin thread coming up to the top, we don't want you to adjust the screw because then that's gonna have an effect on all of your other stitches. So that's where the auxiliary bobbin case with the purple dot comes in. Because if you look at that, adjusting screw it's not locked or painted so if you were to take a bobbin genuine bobbin and wind it with that thread then what i would suggest that you do is position it into the machine stitch out a medium block letter h or an i stitch about halfway through and then stop remove the hoop look at the bottom side and what we'd really like to see is 50 percent of the bobbin thread in the center and 25% of the color thread on each side. If you saw that you had all bobbin thread showing on the bottom, then what you'd want to do is tighten that screw about a quarter turn. If you saw that it was all of your upper thread coming all the way together and no bobbin, that'd be an indication the screw was too tight. At that point, you would loosen it about a quarter turn. It may take a time or two, so don't get frustrated. But once you get that set, then it's going to be set to use for that thread at all times with the genuine bobbins. Okay, now you may also have some bobbins that are already pre-wound and maybe those bobbins are from a different type model or just because they're that's just the way they're designed and it could be a type l which if you look is much thinner than the class 15 that comes with your machine so if you're going to use this thinner type l bobbin then it's going to be also necessary for you to insert the center pin that also comes with your bobbin case and then this would be positioned in here and it would be level just like the standard bobbin and then we have the gray bobbin case which is going to be used for all your creative decorative bobbin work it has a relaxed tension setting to accommodate your larger thicker threads and if you look in your instruction booklet it will mention that most adjustments needed then is only going to be with your upper thread okay so i hope this explains all the mystery behind the multiple bobbin cases so you get a real good opportunity to get out and do some embroidery. So now that you know, go out and sew.